one of the toughest gun stock finishes uses bar top varnish. Follow along as I show you an easy way to get a hard and durable finish. A traditional sanded end finish, such as I've used on this custom safari rifle stock, uses regular stock finish, thin slightly, and a sanding slurry to fill the grain of the wood. It's a very attractive finish, but bar top finish as a filler is more durable. The bar or tabletop varnish will give the stock a very hard and moisture repellent surface when used to fill the grain. For the first coat, I thin the varnish 50-50 with reducer and brush on a liberal coat, making sure to cover all the inletting. After applying as much as the stock can absorb in about 15 minutes, I wipe off any excess and hang the stock to dry for at least 12 hours. The first coat of thin finish is dry, and now I'm going to apply two coats of straight varnish to fill the grain of the wood, allowing at least 12 hours between coats. At this point, I'm not worried about neatness, as I'm going to remove all the varnish on the surface of the wood in the next step. You can see the buildup of varnish that I need to remove. Wet sanding, using sandpaper with a liquid lubricant, is one way to do this. An easier and quicker way is with a clean, dry buffing wheel. It's a 10-inch loose cotton muslin wheel running at about 1,800 RPMs. I buff across the grain and don't stay in one spot too long or all of the varnish will be pulled out of the grain. There's still a bit of finish remaining. I'll wet sand that off with 320 grit wet or dry abrasive paper using water as a lubricant. This is a shop made tool we call an edge saver. I use it around all the edges to keep from rounding them over. As the water dries, the surface of the wood turns chalky white, leaving the pores filled with varnish. It's pretty easy to see where the finish remains and needs a bit more sanding. I wasn't able to get the buffing wheel in the really tight areas, such as around the cheek piece, so these areas will take a little extra time. I'm using a backer to keep the edge of the cheek piece nice and sharp. I'll keep wet sanding until all of the varnish is removed from the surface of the wood. You can see there are some areas that did not get completely filled. I'll simply apply another coat of varnish, let it dry, and remove everything down to the surface of the wood. Now that the grain is completely filled with varnish, I can apply a traditional linseed oil finish. I'm using boiled linseed oil, and it takes only a small amount over the sealed and filled wood. Compared with the hard work of filling the grain, rubbing on the linseed oil is a relatively easy job. The first coat only takes about a dozen drops. The oil is rubbed in and spread in a thin film until it's so warm and thin that it seems almost dry. Now the stock is placed in a drying cabinet which is kept fairly warm, about 110 degrees, and the humidity is less than 10%. A simple heat lamp keeps the cabinet warm and dry. And the cabinet also keeps the dust off the stock. A few drops of linseed oil on a glass dish is a neat stock finishing trick. Once the oil is completely dry on the glass, I'll leave the stock in the cabinet for another 24 hours to ensure it's perfectly dry. Any oil soaked rags must be disposed of properly as they can catch fire at room temperature. The finish has been on the glass for 24 hours. It's still a bit tacky, so I'll wait and check it again tomorrow. The finish is cured for three days and is completely dry on both the glass and the stock. It's now ready for a second coat. Each drop is rubbed firmly and vigorously into the stock until my hand gets quite warm. This time, it only takes six drops. Then it's back in the cabinet to dry for another three days. 
The process of applying finish and drying between coats has been repeated eight times on this stock. The last coat only took three drops. After these coats of linseed oil, I rub the entire stock down with rotten stone. I use a pepper shaker to dispense the rotten stone onto a cotton facial pad that has been wet with water. Rubbing the stock with rotten stone will level the finish and make it perfectly smooth. I rub it down one section at a time and wipe off the residue. Now I've got a perfectly level finish. An additional coat or two finishes it up and gives us that beautiful sheen of a traditional oil finish.